Hey guys, out in my backyard, it's a nice sunny day and I'm doing this video more or less for myself because uh, this particular piece is a Trendmasters Godzilla prototype and uh, I had it in my collection for years and I uh, just sold it so uh, basically to document for myself mainly that I did have this you know I'm doing this video I figured you know I'd share a little information with all you guys uh, along the way as I said this was produced by Trendmasters in the 90s a really cool piece and uh, yeah they didn't produce too many of these you know being a prototype but I think a few were released and this was one of them um, it has a sound function on the chest right there still works nice and it really is a great piece that I, you know, kind of regret letting go of. But, uh, you know, I've had it for years and I've enjoyed it and I have a ton of uh, Godzilla figures. So I'm just going to let this go to a friend of mine who is a diehard Trendmasters Godzilla collector and wanted this for his collection. So this is this guy. And to give you a little uh, look at some other Godzilla toys, there's just so many variations and uh, incarnations of Godzilla throughout the years. Nope. Hopefully this will show up okay. It's really sunny, so I'm probably going to get a lot of shadows. But this is pretty much the earliest Godzilla toy produced in Japan by Maru-san. Um, let me see. I'll give you guys a good look. Underneath you can see... Man, this is really tough outside with the glare by the Marusan company. Anyways, this is produced, yeah, by Marusan. This was produced in the uh, 60s. Uh, it has a stamp underneath saying uh, 1966. And from there, a company called Bullmark pretty much took over and picked up the molds and produced basically the same figure throughout the 70s. Here we have a, another Godzilla by a company called Poppy, also in Japan. A little bit smaller as you can see. And again another vinyl figure just like the uh, Marusan. And this was produced in the 70s. Uh, Mattel Picked up some of the molds also during the 70s and produced some toys for a series called Godzilla Gang. And uh, yeah, there was a variation of this figure produced for America for that. This is the Millennium Godzilla from the year 2000. It has a distinctive design by uh, Yuji Sakai, a well-known uh, sculptor in Japan, especially for uh, Godzilla and other kaiju or giant monsters um, this is another vinyl figure and again you can see he has a really unique design for the return of Godzilla in the year 2000 and this is my favorite Godzilla this was produced in uh, around what 2002 or so this was for the uh, uh, Godzilla all monsters attack movie um, directed by the Gamera 1, 2, and 3 series films, uh, Shusuke Kaneko. And here again another rendition of Godzilla where he is just a little bit more evil and uh, destructive. Just a, you know, more monstrous form of Godzilla which I really dug and, you know, again was my favorite up till now and this brings us up to the my most recent Godzilla figure this is produced by Bandai super articulated Godzilla figure and uh, you can see you know he has several points of articulation in the tail alone so very cool piece if I had two hands I'd show you more but you know, he has joints everywhere. Foot, the knee, you know, swivels, turns, the waist, the 
arms, the wrist, you know, even the mouth, you know, super articulated. This is more of the Heisei Godzilla from the 90s, but this is a recently produced toy that just came out about a month or two ago for uh, 2012. So there you go, a quick rundown of some Godzilla toys from throughout the years. And I'm saying goodbye to this guy, my Trend Masters prototype Godzilla. So, try to give you guys some good looks. Alrighty. And if you want to know more about Godzilla, I was on a Godzilla special uh, a few years back for Animal Planet. Um, I know there's some YouTube videos out there on it. It was called a uh, It Came From Japan special, all about Godzilla. And I'll try to put a link below. You can check that out, and I'm on there uh, talking about Godzilla and whatnot. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.